He's got a bundle of great routines, and I love this one. Here is George Carlin. George? I've been watching the Westerns, all of us have been watching Western movies, an endless stream of them for our entire lives, and I've noticed something about them. When the Westerns involve Indians, and sometimes they don't, sometimes it's Brian Donlevy with a black hat and a crooked card game. <laughs> but when they involve Indians, the big scene always seems to be when the Indians finally attack the Cowboys. We've been waiting for it throughout the entire movie. You can see them standing on the hill. And uh, that's the big scene when they finally get to him. And you always see exactly how the cowboys prepare for this attack. Now pull them wagons around in a circle. Get them old ladies up there loading up the weapons. Come on, now tear up their petticoats. Use them as bandages. Get that water up there. Sam, Sam. Big hassle. We never see how the Indians prepare. <laughs> and it's their attack, right? Now, the Indians were good fighters. Just because they started in Massachusetts and wound up defending Malibu doesn't mean they're... <laughs> play the game with them. Uh, as I say, you know, the Indians were good fighters, and if this is so, they must have been well organized. There must have been a way to divide their manpower. It, it wasn't just one old chief, many moon come Choctaw, and a lot of guys running. <laughs> there had to be intermediate authority, a way to divide their manpower. No army can make it without a sergeant, a tough, veteran, battle-hardened sergeant, and the Indians were no exception. All right, all the tall guys over by the trees. <laughs> fat guys down behind the rocks. <laughs> you with the beads, out of line. <laughs> all right, knock off the horse play. Come on, knock off the horse play. Come on, you guys over there playing with the horse, will you knock it off? <laughs> have all been given a piece of birch bark <laughs> and an eagle dipped in feathers blood. I mean a feather dipped in eagle. <laughs> I always like to say something wrong so you will feel at ease. We want you to write on the birch bark in the upper right hand corner. And that's the upper right hand corner. That's your arrow hand. I want you to write your name. Last name first, first name last. Your name is Running Bear, you write uh, Bear, Running. <laughs> By the way, you guys with middle initials, please include them, such as uh, Wolf, Howling W. <laughs> We need your uh, name, we want your age, in summers. I've been alive for 14 summers, you put down 14 summers. You've been alive for 16 summers, you put, yes, prancing antelope. <laughs> if you were born in the winter, put it down. <laughs> There's one in every village. <laughs> All right, a lot of you have been asking me about the promotion list. You'd like to make brave second class. <laughs> like to get another scar up on your arm. <laughs> but I'm happy to say the results of your early tests that come in, you're doing beautifully. Burning settlers' homes, everybody passed. Imitating a coyote, everybody passed. Sneaking quietly through the woods, everybody passed, except limping ox. <laughs> However, our limping ox is being fitted with a pair of corrective moccasins. <laughs> Uh, he should be up and dancing in no time at all. <laughs> now, there are two other areas on which you will be tested. Running down the hill, yelling like a nut. <laughs> and leaping off the cliff. <laughs> leaping off the cliff is generally considered to be the tougher of the two. A lot of fellas like to save that one for last. <laughs> I got a couple other announcements for you here. First of all, the fertility rights have been called off. <laughs> Due to the recent cold wave. <laughs> There'll be a rain dance Friday night. <laughs> weather permitting. <laughs> Had a great 
Great band, great band. Leaping Lizard and the All-Stars will be there. <laughs> yeah, all your favorite tunes, Pass That Peace Pipe, Indian Love Call, all them tunes you've come to know and love. I got one other item goes on your clothing list. That is your loin cloth. <laughs> and that appears on your list as one each cloth line type. <laughs> if there is your line cloth, you'll want to get to know and love your line cloth. <laughs> Someday it may save your life. There'll be a massacre tonight at nine o'clock. <laughs> Me down by the bonfire, I would dance around a little and move out. This is the fourth straight night we've attacked the fort. However, tonight it will not be as easy. Tonight there will be soldiers in the fort. <laughs> Happy to say I'll be leading the massacre. I'll be down front running. You'll see me. I'm the one that's on fire. <laughs> now, your, uh, your equipment, your uniform of the day, this here is a Class A formal massacre. That's the Class A summer loincloth. <laughs> Two green stripes over the eye, no feather. <laughs> Arms are blue, legs are red, chest is optional. <laughs> Might put a little yellow on the bellies. <laughs> And your equipment, three large knives, three small knives, three medium-sized knives, two rock tomahawks, two shell tomahawks, five spears, three bows, and 30 arrows. Now, if any of this equipment is not used tonight, please make sure it is returned to the souvenir shop by tomorrow morning. <laughs>